Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm your host and welcome to another Trope Tips and Tricks. This time it is going to be another scripted commentary and because I did this live commentary like three times already and all the time it was over like 20 minutes long. But so I decided to do this scripted commentary so I can get straight to the point. However, if I do talk a little bit slowly throughout this whole video, uh, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm just going to take it a little bit slowly in terms of like reading because I got a really stuffed up nose and I really need to take like some breathers here and there just just because you know, being sick sucks. Anyways, that's that's all I gotta say. <laughs> and also, this is one of my longest scripted videos, so yeah, this is going to be also a pretty long video no matter what. So yeah, let's get started. Today I will be talking about Patreon and the importance of having Patreon. Since I see a lot of players who are easily have the amount of flocks to get Patreon and can get Patreon but doesn't have Patreon. I don't know why to be honest. Some people much rather have one dragon than 50 days of Patreon which is bizarre in my opinion. Anywho, to each their own, let's get started to what is Patreon. Patreon is a premium service in Trove that allows you to have some extra bonuses just for being a Patreon account. Patreon normally costs real life money, however since the introduction of Credit Pasha it is possible to get it as a free to play player and it's pretty easy to get. Unfortunately someone has to pay real life money to get the Credit Pasha, but some people don't care at all to be honest and they just want the easy flow so they just buy Credit Pasha and sell that in the marketplace so you're going to see Credit Pasha all the time in the marketplace. Patreon will cost a minimum of 850 credits for 15 days of Patreon which is for Credit Pasha. Or, if you want one month of Patreon, all you need is 7 credit pouches because 850 times 2 is 1700. And uh, 7 credit pouches is 1750. So you're able to get a 30 day Patreon just by buying yourself 7 credit pouches. But I'm going to use the 15 day Patreon pass because uh, PC players can only buy the 15 day Patreon pass and it is the one that I personally buy. Now that I just covered all of it regarding what is Patreon and the cost of Patreon, Let's talk about why is Patreon so important. For being so easy to get, it is also extremely effective for all of the bonuses that it grants. Like for example, you get a 50% EXP buff, or 1.5 times EXP if you want to look at it that way. And like all buff that I'm going to mention right here, it is multiplicative instead of an additive. I'll explain. Being multiplicative means that if you're using another buff, that buff is going to multiply from the base, uh, multiply one for the base that you have. For example, if you have Patreon, which is 1.5 times the normal EXP, that is your normal regular base, if you use a 2 times EXP potion, it means you're going to be multiplied that 1.5 times times 2, which is 3 times EXP. Instead of being at added 100% of your already 150%, which normally if you do it like that, which is additive, it's going to be 250% EXP. I hope you're following this because I'm going to mention it a little bit from the rest of the buff because you know pretty much most of the buffs in this game and not all of the buff in this game are multiplicative so yeah uh, that's pretty much how it is so this is the equivalent of playing exp day every single day as a non patron player so this is perfect for those who are just waiting for a specific day which is Saturday to get exp uh, even though I don't personally wait for exp day to get exp because I feel that is waste of time and yeah but yeah, again, to each their own, that is just my own personal opinion, that's just what I normally do. And then, let's move on to the second buff, I'll try to cover all of them a little bit quicker because I just wanted to make sure about the multiplicative and all that sort of stuff, and the ASP is one big important bonus, so I, that's why I just wanted to explain that for a little bit longer. Anywho, moving on to the second buff, which is for Chaos Chest every single daily reset, which is a lot of Chaos Chest and it is pretty nice for those who are missing a lot of chaotic crafting table items and a lot of chaos cores. Third is going to be you're going to get two extra flask capacity no matter the flask that you're using, which is pretty nice. Uh, the fourth buff is going to be five extra jumps, so it's going to be pretty good for those who are just starting up the game and just are missing a lot of jumps and they just want extra jumps. Five extra jumps for being a patron player. The fifth buff is going to be a 50% bonus uh, to your laser mancy, and again this is multiplicative. So it's going to be 1.5 times uh, laser mancy from your base. So again, if you have 200 laser mancy, you just multiply it by 1.5, it's going to be 300 once you have patron. So, so on and so forth, that's pretty much how it is. Uh, six is going to be, this might be a little bit confusing to some player, but you do craft items twice as fast. So this is a minor thing to some players, but it's going to be pretty big for those who craft a lot of items, especially for those who craft bombs. 
for example, so bombs usually take a lot of time to craft. As a patron player, you're going to craft all of those items twice as fast, which is not too bad. The seventh buff is another big one. This is pretty much one of the biggest buff out there for patron players, and it is going to be you get a 100% to your Magi Finite Shadow Key Fragment, and again, multiplicative. So you will be getting two times your base Magi Fine and Shadow Key Fragment. The reason I mentioned that it's multiplicative is that the Shadow Key Fragment there's uh, another bonus that you get from the Horde of Prosperity fixture, and also you get another bonus from the Shadow Day bonus, which is Mondays. So it actually multiplies all of those in, in tandem, so that's why you get insane amounts of Shadow Key Fragments on Monday as a Patreon player, and especially if you had the Horde of Prosperity fixture. Anyway, this alone is why grinding the top side for Flux is very, very insane for high magnifying players, because of the two times magnifying is a really big help. That's how you can get up to the 7,000, 6,000 Magifine because Patron. Patron will help you out in getting into that high, really high Magifine. Moving on to the 8th bonus, which is a 33% bonus to your Adventuring. Again, multiplicative, so you can use two times, uh, well, two times Adventuring Potion and also Adventure Day bonus actually multiply from the 33%. So that's not too bad. The ninth bonus is going to be that you get Arena Boxes twice as fast. So for those who don't know, and I don't blame you because this is related to the old PvP, and this allows you to get arena boxes which contain the old PvP banner twice as fast. Tenth is going to be that the double daily rewards, which I'll get into that in a little bit. That's why the, there's going to be a really big section regarding the daily bonuses. So yeah, there's a lot regarding the daily bonuses. So yeah, let's move on to the 11th one. The 11th one is going to be the triple star bar, which helps out a lot more than you think. And again, multiplicative due to the two times star bar weekly bonus. But to explain this quick, you get a triple amount of cubit, flux, diamond dragon, and star glide piñatas for each star bar fill. To be more precise, for cubits and flux, you get instead of 500 for the first star bar and 100 for the remaining star bars, you are going to get 1500 for the first one and 300 for the remaining ones. For the Diamond Dragonite and the Piñata, you're going to get 3 instead of 1 per star bar fill. That includes the first one and the remaining ones. And which in my opinion is pretty nice, especially on the Diamond Dragonite part and the Cubits part, because those things will help out a lot. They do help you out quite a lot. And the last bonus is that you get is pretty amazing on its own and so good that this is just worth Patreon on its own, like in my opinion. And that is Double Karma Bar on Gem Boxes. What it means is that it only requires you to open 35 gem boxes to get Karma Bar instead of the normal 70. This alone is pretty insane because it allows you to get more rare drops from gem boxes. This allows you to get stellar gems from Uber 9 Life from 35 boxes. It's pretty insane. And this also works on gem booster boxes. So gem booster boxes also work with this bonus. So you only need 35 to get the rare drug, which is a power gem boxes, or ninth life, which is the cherry on top. And in my opinion, you should get Patreon for this bonus alone. There's 12 bonuses in total, and this alone is just worth getting it. It's just one of 12 bonuses. It's pretty insane. Because this alone will help you progress this game much quicker, because you're going to get more, much more gem dust, much better gems, and much quicker, and yeah. Anywho. Those are the top bonuses that you get as a patron player, and again, it only costs 4 credit pouches, which should be less than 1 mil no matter the platform that you're playing. Even on PC players, like I believe it's around 800k flux to get a 15 day patron pass, or just 7 credit pouches for 1 month of patron. And again, 1 mil flux is pretty easy to get right now at the current time that I'm just posting this on Trope. Getting Flux and Trophy is pretty easy no matter the platform that you're playing if you know how to make Flux. So it's pretty important for half a month or one month of Patreon. Yeah, that's it's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Now let's talk about the double daily rewards. And for those who aren't still aware that there's daily bonuses in this game, just check the welcome screen in the menu. So you are going to see the daily bonuses, which consists of Shadow Day, Gathering Day, Gem Day, Adventure Day, Dragon Day, EXP Day, and Loot Day. We shall get into all of that right now. First and foremost is going to be Shadow Day. Normally you get double the amount of key fragments, double the amount of shadow shards and caches, and double the amount of Titan and Lunar Soul if you complete if you do those things on Monday or Shadow Day. With Patreon, it increases on triple all of them instead of being two times the double 
Key fragment is going to be triple, triple the amount of shadow shards and caches, and triple the amount of reward from Titans or Lunar Souls. And since you already get two times the key fragment for being a patron player, this multiplies that for the triple amount that you get on Monday. So yeah, you get a lot. Let me tell you, you get a lot of shadow key fragment or key fragments on Mondays, which is insane. Next up is going to be Gathering Day, which normally gives you double Radiant Shards, 20% bonus harvesting, 50% bonus to your ores, and double fishing speed. With Patreon, that translates into triple the Radiant Shards, 40% for do the harvesting. For those who might be confused, is that there's a 40% chance of getting twice the amount of plants when you're harvesting. So yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Same goes with the next one, which is uh, the ores. Instead of being the 50%, which is normally from non-patron, it is 100% with patron. And this means that you will get double the amount of ores 100% uh, of the time instead of being a 50% of the time. And this works on the geode materials. So yes, if you get, let's say for example, if you normally get two ores just from destroying one block, it will mean that it will be a 100% chance of getting four ores for one block. So yeah, that's pretty much it, how it is. And lastly, it's going to be triple the amount of fishing speed instead of the normal double the fishing speed, which makes fishing somewhat doable and bearable, to be honest. Next up is going to be gem day, which normally is a 10% reduction to your gem cost while upgrading your gems, a 25% of getting twice the amount of gem boxes. So again, if you complete a dungeon, you will have a 25% chance of getting two gem boxes instead of one or again if you can play a three star it's going to be four gem boxes instead of two and you can get up to three luster gem boxes this specific day just randomly from completing dungeons and with patron it's going to be instead of 10 percent it's going to be 20 percent uh, reduction a 50 percent instead of 25 percent chance of getting gem more gem boxes and six luster gem boxes instead of three which you will get two at a time instead of getting one luster gem box so you will get randomly and instead of getting randomly one you will get randomly two so yeah that's pretty much it, how it is next up is going to be adventure day uh, and normally without patrons 50 percent when you complete a quest a 50 percent adventuring double the drops from adventure boxes and double the drops from talisman by the way i don't know if the adventure box bonus comes with the strong boxes that you get from completing the quest maybe maybe not i don't know i haven't tested that one out Anyways, with Patreon, it's 100% more bonus adventuring, and again, you get a bonus 33% of for being a Patreon player, so again, it's multiplicative, and that's how pretty much how it works, and same goes if you're using a double adventuring potion, that's how you get insane amount of adventuring on uh, Thursday, so yeah. You also have a triple chance of getting adventure boxes and talisman instead of the normal double. Next up is going to be Dragon Day, so you normally get two times the amount of dragon coins, lesser dragon caches, and two times the amount of chance of getting dragon fragment, which also works with pirate candy and deep sea dragon. Uh, with patron, instead of being two times, it's going to be three times with all of those bonuses, uh, three times dragon coin, three times lesser caches from the challenges, by the way, and two times the amount of getting dragon fragment, which works again with the pirate candy and deep sea dragon. Moving on with the next one, which is going to be EXP day, which is 50% bonus to the adventure quests or adventures in general, uh, club and arena win EXP, which is going to be without patron. With patron is going to be 100% with all of those three bonuses. And again, this is multiplicative with the current 1.5 that you get as a patron player, which is pretty nice, by the way. And again, this bonus XP works on the Geo Caves as well. So you're going to get more EXP for completing the Geo Caves and the Geo Caves quest. And lastly, it's going to be Loot Day. And normally it's going to be 100 Magify, two times of getting uh, the Flux Artifacts, which are the three artifacts that you normally get from dungeons, and an increased chance of getting Chaos Shots. I don't know, and it doesn't say how much it says, but I'm going to assume it's two times the normal amount of getting a Chaos Chest drop. And with Patreon, it's 400 Magifine. And to clear some confusion, this is not plus 400 base Magifine. It's actually a plus 200 base Magifine, but it actually multiplies uh, times 2 due to the Patreon bonus. So it's going to be uh, 400 extra Magifine. They change it in the loot day bonuses so that players don't get too confused whenever they just see it's plus 200 and they just see they get plus 400 for being Patreon player. So they just do that to clear out some confusion. Anyways, you also get three times the amount of Flux artifacts and even higher chance of getting Chaos Shares. And again, it doesn't say, but I'm going to assume it's going to be three times the regular amount. And those are the daily bonuses that you get. And once again, this is just 
one bonus out of the 12 bonuses as a patron player which is rather insane to think about because all the things that you get with patron and this is pretty easy to get as a free to play player and all the bonuses that you get as daily bonuses for being a patron player it's just ridiculous amounts of benefits that you get and you can get it easily as a free to play player all you need to know is how to make the required amount of floors within 15 days for example if it costs 500k to get 15 days of patron all you need to know is how to make 500k within 15 days Again, it's pretty easy to do. Anyways, I rambled for long enough and this is a long video, so there's a lot of explanation to do here and there. And I always wanted to make a video like this because I find it rather silly every time when I see a beginner player saying that the patron is too expensive and they proceed to save flux for the dragon or heck even save flux for like Trozo Wonder Light. Boy, if you don't And for those players, all I gotta say is Stop it. Like seriously, you're missing way too much for just a little bit of amount that you're going to use it for a little bit and that's it. Anyways, rambles aside, that is all for today. Thank you for watching, thank you for sticking around as always. Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting and I'm pretty sick and I really need to get out of here and see you around.